Hey everyone, Les Herger here of ComfortableShoesStudio.com and ArtJournaling.Ning.com. I'm going to show you how to make a toner transfer today. You're going to need a few things um, to do the toner transfer. First off, the most important thing to uh, have is Goof Off. Goof Off is the only product that I've found that will do this uh, consistently and in a way that gives a good result every time. So Goof Off has xylene in it, which is a nasty chemical that really stinks. You're going to need uh, rubber gloves, masking tape, an old spoon, and uh, obviously the Goof Off. A bristle brush with uh, hair bristles, not plastic. Goof Off will melt the plastic bristles. And most importantly, a toner-based transfer. This has to be from a laser printer or a photocopier. Um, if you don't have a laser printer like I do, you can print off a bunch of black and white stuff, take it to Staples or your local office store or uh, your office if you work in one, uh, and print it off. It needs a fresh print to make this work the best. You're going to need a pair of scissors to cut apart your, uh, your print. Um, I did a variety of different uh, things on this print for you to be able to see. I did a, a crosshatch gun, a line gun, a line work gun, um, obviously a medical illustration of a heart, and a few skulls, as well as a drawing of my own. So you can get an idea. It's a great way to reproduce your own artwork. You can take your scissors and just cut apart the uh, the print and pick the stuff that you would like to um, to transfer. You could also print text with this or um, you could um, transfer text if you wanted to. Um, again, it, it, it's only going to work with something that is toner based. I'm going to place the heart there. And you're going to use the masking tape, tape to just hold it in place. And I'm doing diagonal corner to corner to hold that in place. If you do any text, it will show in reverse. You'll notice that how I'm transferring things. Um, it is reversed. Now, you could use the setting on a printer to reverse it if you wanted to, um, but for this it wasn't uh, important. I put a piece of cardstock between my pages to protect my other pages. I put the glove on the hand um, that's going to hold down the um, the print, so because that's what's going to be touching the um, the goof off. This stuff really smells bad. Make sure you're working in a well ventilated area. I had two windows open and a fan going in this room and it was still really pungent. And what I do is I dip the bristle brush in and I tap it off. You don't want to get this so like wet that you can see the goof off standing. Um, it works best if you brush it on, let it sit for a second, and then um, depending on your printer you might need to do a second brushing of the goof off. Um, if you put on too much, it will blur the image. Um, but I'm putting on a nice even coat here. Uh, you'll see in a second that I probably should have added more. And as I put the cap back on, you can see that I haven't put enough because everything's dried off. I didn't notice because I was talking at the time. And you just want to rub. And you're going to use a pretty heavy pressure um, to, to get that to stick. And uh, with this first go, I did not get it to stick well. So you're going to peel it and check it. Peel it and check it and see I got virtually no transfer. So I'm going to add more goof off. And really it doesn't take that much. Um, much goof off to, to really get a decent transfer. Um, but like I said, sometimes you've got to put it on twice to get a good transfer. And 
and this time it worked much better and my camera is not focusing that's awesome see it's getting better so again I didn't put on enough I'm brushing on a little bit more get a better transfer Sometimes if you flip the, the um, spoon over, you can get more pressure and a better transfer. There we go. So you're not going to get a perfect printing. You're going to get an imperfect um, but pretty good looking transfer. Again, I'm resaturating the heart, tapping it, and you can see it drying. This stuff is really volatile. Um, it's not nice stuff. It's made to strip graffiti off the wall. It is an industrial product. If you are at all sensitive to the smell of markers, if you can't stand the smell of Sharpies, you're not going to be able to stand the smell of this stuff. Again, I'm using the um, lip of the spoon to add put pressure down and then I'm burnishing with the spoon. I'm getting a pretty good print. I'm going to add more hoof off. Um, you want to make sure that you put your printer, if you, if you have a choice, to the highest possible setting. It puts more toner on and it melts better. Um, if you're stingy with your toner you're not going to get a very good transfer. Different printers require uh, different amounts of the goof off. My old printer, um, it's very little goof off melted to print. So um, this printer takes more goof off. Again, burnishing it down. This time I get a good print, and I'm using a lot of pressure. There we go. You want to peel back and check it and see if you're getting a good transfer. Now you can transfer onto acrylic paint, watercolor paint, raw paper. I'm working onto raw paper here. Um, you know, really a lot of options in how this is going to work for you. There's the heart, and you see it transferred really well. There's the original. It's a lot. It's faded. But a lot of the important details are there. I think it's really cool. Um, there's the uh, little pistol, the original, and there's the transfer. You can see that it picked up the texture of the paper. Um, I think it transferred really well. I'm pretty happy with that as well. Looks good. And there you have it, a toner transfer. Now, you, over the top of this, you can put a watercolor. Um, Gosh, you could, you could put a lot of different things on top of this. You could collage on top of it, watercolor on top of it, acrylic paint on top of it. Um, a lot of options for what you can do with it. Goof off is great stuff. Make sure when you put it away, you tap it. Work in a ventilated area. This stuff stinks bad. I mean, really, really horribly bad. But really cool technique. And uh, if you try it, let me know in the comments.